Hi there! In this video I'm going to show you how to edit a record. You might wonder why you would want to edit some of the HUD data. Well once you find one of the borrowers, chances are you're going to find that they live at a different address than what HUD has on record for them. And you're going to want to update your information so that you can keep track of it and, that your and so that your future letters and legal forms merge the new address information rather than the old address information. Now let's say that you found, uh, I'm just going to search for a record sort of randomly and I'll show you how you can edit it. So scrolling down, let's say I found someone with a big, big refund due. Let's say Jeffrey Thiessen. If I click on this pencil icon, it will allow me to edit his individual information. Now, only you can see your updated data. You can't see anyone else's updated data and no one else can see yours. This is your proprietary information because you've done the hard work of locating them. Now sometimes you'll find that maybe it's a husband and wife and you'll want to adjust the names here. But let's say that we found him and his name is Jeffrey Thiessen. And his address now is still in Bellevue, but he's at 12345 Northeast 8th Street, Bellevue, Washington, 98008. And now here you can also put in his, their home phone, a cell phone, and an email, all of which is useful information. And on the tracer found case form, you'll actually need to have their home phone information. So let's say it's 206 720 8422. And perhaps we have an email that's Jeffrey Thiessen at yahoo.com. Now I can also put the date I located them. Let's say I located them on 11 1 2008. Um, once I receive back the authorization agreement, that means they're a confirmed client of mine. So I might want to add that date when they confirmed that they were my client. The last box, as you can see, is for when the case is closed. And I wouldn't fill in a date for that until I'd received their refund check, passed it on to them, and I'd been paid. Then I could close that case. Uh, the processing fee will default to whatever your profile has set up as a default. But if, say, that with Jeffrey Thiessen, you reached an agreement with him for 30%, let's say 0 0.30, then you would put that processing fee in this field. There's also space in this field for notes, so you can say uh, located in white pages uh, and whatever other notes. I sent authorization agreement. There's all, any sort of notes you want to, to keep there, you can. Those are for you, you to view. Once you've changed anything, you'll want to click update. Here we go. That information has been saved. If you, if you scroll up here and click on My Updated Records, we'll now see that Jeffrey Thiessen uh, shows up as one of my records I've updated. And from this screen, as well as from that uh, uh, record update screen, I can do printing also. So if I want to send him the power of attorney, or let's say I want to send him the tracer case, tracer found case form. I can choose it, select print, and now it will merge his new information. As you can see, it shows the Northeast 8th Street instead of the previous address. Now it will still show in this document the property address as it was in the original HUD documentation, and that's correct. That's what it should show. As you can see, that updated records uh, area is where you're going to do the bulk of your work once you successfully locate your clients. This is where you'll update information and keep track of what you've done with those clients.